moment tell us about ourselves as a nation. Rather than talking about how we expand access, we are fighting over the bare minimum. Yeah, look, the people like Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, these are the white people that Martin Luther King Jr. warned us about. These are the white liberals who have no sense of urgency, commitment, or integrity when it comes to the progress of justice in the country. And that's just that's just a fact. I don't know if they can live with themselves with that, but that is that is the reality of their situation. The other reality here, and, and, and Bernice uh, um, mentioned it in that clip, the chief architect of this assault on voting rights is not Mitch McConnell, it's not David Duke, it's not whatever boogeyman you think is hiding under the, under the, under the closet. Um, the chief architect is Chief Justice John Roberts. It is he who has been an enemy of voting rights and racial equality from his very first job at a law school, which was to oppose the 1982 amendments to the Voting Rights Act. It is John Roberts who authored Shelby County v. Holder in 2013, which eviscerated Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, which is basically why we're here right now. It is John Roberts who authored Rucho in 2020, which swung wide the doors towards gerrymandering, and it's John Roberts who provided the crucial fifth vote in last year's Brnovich decision, which eviscerated Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. This has all been done by federal society conservatives that have been put on the Supreme Court. And until we stop them, until we do something about the court, you want to pass your Freedom to Vote Act? I think that's a great bill. We should pass it. I think we should have passed H.R. 1. But always remember that John Roberts and his conservative cronies are waiting at the Supreme Court level to strike down whatever laws we put forward. As long as you let Republicans control the Supreme Court, you cannot have a fair and equal just society. Latasha, there's also the 